Coming to you from the Rush TV studios in the heart of St. Louis, Missouri, it's the Rush Daily Show with your host, Josh Tyler. Today, join Josh and his guest, Rush alumni Ryan Williams, the 2002 girl from Amarillo Rush, and we check in with Steve the Skeleton. And now, here's your host, Mr. Josh Tyler! Welcome back to the Rush... What is... What's that? What's that smell? Ooh, it's something special, Josh. One of my favorites. Okay. Well, anyways, thank you for hanging out. My name is Josh... Z... Man, I think you better check that. That's not... Nah, I think I'm good. Just a little bit more salt and... Oh! Ooh. Oh, man. I think I burned the cereal. you don't cook cereal. Oh, now you tell me. Have you ever watched Josh Cooks? That's it. Let's move on. Welcome to the Rush Daily Show. My name is Josh Tyler, and I'm so happy that we're hanging out again. We're going to head right into the social post of the day, and it comes from Colorado Rush and their pro development team. Here we have Iman Rahimi. Iman, can you tell us your favorite memory out here being with the boys this summer? My favorite memory would probably be the Vegas trip. Uh, we all connected a little bit over that trip, uh, staying in the same place, spending a little bit more time with each other and getting to play two games with the boys. It was an honor, a privilege, and it was a very good trip for me, personally. And overall, what was your experience like and what would you like to take into your college season? My experience uh, here was very good. There was a lot of very good players, quality players from all over the U.S. Uh, here. That uh, it was great to meet, form new friendships and connections. And uh, what I like to take is uh, things that I learned here from the coaches and things that I learned from the other players every day in training. And, and I'm definitely going to take that into my season. Most definitely, well, we wish you all the best uh, this upcoming season with your college. Good luck. Thank you very much. As you know, we have quite a few Rush alumni currently playing in the NWSL and the MLS. We had the opportunity to sit down with Ryan Williams from the NC Courage, a Colorado Rush alumni who's won five national championships. And uh, you can catch the full interview on the Rush Soccer YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Rush Soccer. It's on the YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe you may be watching on YouTube right now, so it's not too hard to get to, but you can see the full interview of myself and Ryan talking about the bubble uh, and on their YouTube channel. But let's take a look at, at some of the best moments. Hi, I'm Ryan Williams, and I play for the North Carolina Courage from Centennial, Colorado. And how, how's your experience with Rush? It was really good. I had a great time at Rush. I actually switched over to Rush because I decided I wanted to play college soccer, so I felt like I had kind of um, a better chance of getting recruited from there, and um, the Rush team was um, a little bit better. So, um, yeah, I ended up getting recruited, committed to TCU after just a year of being with Rush, and yeah. So how's the how's the bubble? So I want to kind of hear about the bubble you guys are in in, in Utah. Yeah, um, it's been really good. I think the NWSL has actually done a really good job kind of keeping us safe and keeping um, everyone really healthy here. Um, it's pretty strict, so obviously we're wearing masks everywhere we go. Um, we basically are kind of in this hotel and we go to training and we come back. We're allowed to go on little walks outside with our masks on, but it's pretty restricted. Um, which is which is fine. Like it's been it's been really good, and I feel really safe here. And the protocols are really good. Um, it's been a lot of team bonding, which has been fun. Um, yeah, honestly, it's been a really good experience. Well, yeah, where were you when you got drafted? And kind of what was that process like? Um, actually, in the grocery store, and my TCU coach texted me, and he was like, "Hey, like, are you watching the draft? I think you're gonna go." And I was like. <laughs> I like panic. I like, sprinted out of the grocery store, <laughs> service, trying to get YouTube up on my phone, and so I like drove home to my college house, and um, I like walked in the door and sat on in the living room on the chair, and like they called my name like right when YouTube pulled up, and one of my roommates was sitting on the couch, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, dude, I just got drafted. <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite rush memory that um, sticks out for you? One memory that sticks out to me, I think it was my first year, and I think I had just gotten on the team. 
And our coach said that if we just, like chip the ball into this trash can, then we wouldn't have to run. And like everybody got one chance to do it. And there weren't that many people at practice that day. And like I went last and it was like one of my first practices there and I chipped it and I got it in the trash can. <laughs> Why? I was just like jumping up and down. <laughs> Those are the moments when you when you mentioned earlier about, you know, why you play and it's fun. Those are the moments, you know, right that, that, that you remember, like I chipped it into a trash can. And again, right after you get done watching this, you can watch the full interview. But I don't don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. We still got some show to do, but catch the full interview. And thanks so much for Ryan for sitting down with us. Now, a big congratulations to the 2002 girls team from Amarillo Rush. They were champions at the Puma Cup Classic. Love the video, come on. Whatever you guys are doing out there, we want to know about it. Send us your clips, hashtag R-U-I-D, which if you don't know is rush until I die, hashtag R-U-I-D. You can email dailyshow at rushsoccer.com. We want to feature you on The Daily Show and all the cool things that we are doing across the country. Rush is built on 11 core values. If you ever forget how many core values we have, just remember how many players are on a team on a full field. 11. Each month, we feature a core value of the month. July is whatever your favorite core value is. We ask some players what their favorite core value is. My favorite Rush Core value is tenacity because I like to be fearless on the field. Favorite Rush Core value is enjoyment because this game is just so fun and you can't get enough of it. My favorite Rush Core value is leadership because someone has to step up and be that person to lead the team. My favorite Rush Core value is leadership because there needs to be leadership on the field. Always have to have someone to make the plays and help you out in the field. You feel you're a good leader? Um, yeah, I feel like I'm a pretty good leader. Okay. Hey. Oh, I must be dreaming. Hey, cow. Okay, fine. Don't talk to me. I'll see you later. Okay, never mind. Cow. Talk to me. This is some weird dream. This is the... Uh, what was that? Like a glitch in the matrix. I'm out of here. I guess we're going... What? What the heck is a cow? Whoa! I'm back again. This is... Hey! And now there's a tree with a bike. This is some weird dream. I'm ha- What? Butterflies. Ah! Ah! Oh! Hey, check it out. I got butterflies in my stomach. Hey, what is this? A loading screen? Oh, I know what's happening. Ah! Josh! Josh! The kids put the VR thing on me again. Josh! Somebody get this thing off of me! Thank you so much for hanging out with us again today on the Rush Daily Show. We really, really appreciate it. Keep sending in your videos. Keep tagging R-U-I-D or Rush Soccer. You can email us at dailyshow at rushsoccer.com. We want to hear from you. We want to talk to you. Good, bad, or... Well, if it's bad, send, send it... If it's bad, send it to Z. He'll, he'll take care of the bad ones. Send me the good ones. I want to hear from you. I appreciate hanging out. Thank you so much. And as always, stay happy stay healthy, and stay kind. And we're going to see you next week. If you like what you just saw, and if you're a normal person, you probably did. So like and subscribe because, well, it's the right thing to do. You need to like and subscribe. And I mean that. Well, that's as serious as I get. Be sure to like and subscribe.